My name is Grace Hui Ching Ling. I graduated from Texas A&M University College Station and USC. I'm now teaching as a part-time teacher at National Formosa University in its language teaching center. So this project is uh, English language learning by computer games. And this research was aimed at investigating the pedagogical roles of computer games. It explored the impact of computer mixed with language. And the language training and learning and use the simulation games to improve the English proficiency. So upon language acquisition and diverse daily life knowledge, the student can improve in their proficiency test. So in the Teacher Preparation University of Western Taiwan, the researcher had collected data to explore the effectiveness of students' language learning and oral presentation improvement from five views, from five perspectives. This project sought noteworthy cases and persuasive qualitative and numerical data from academic performances grades, implying the computer-assisted learning by games that contribute to improve learners' English language proficiencies for science and art, and humanity majors in the teacher preparation university. So by both, the first of all, in class instruction promoting games to be language learning materials by the teacher. And the second, the student's application of the video games in class and out of class. This project has finally resulted non-English majors improvement in English language representation, especially for the Department of Information Administration. So this study implied that computer game can make the English proficiency improve because it contributes to students' language proficiencies, especially in oral representations abilities. Under the administrator's permission, by language trainers designed by syllabi and curricula, English language learners can be allowed to apply in and out of class as English learning tools. And the key words of this study is about computer assisted learning, educational games, presentation abilities, qualitative research, quantitative research, and computer assisted instruction. The methodology applied in this study is that the methodology includes IRB signing procedures to protect students' human rights of learning in the very beginning of the research. During the second examination of speeches, the students were requested to draw pictures in examination. She is to explain the targeted learned knowledge and the vocabularies focused on a certain games 
they selected by their own. And the student conducted their speeches by playing demonstration with a huge screen showed in front of classrooms to all classmates and a smaller computer screen to the researcher as well as the teacher. And the sound of interaction with their online partners were shown from whom they dated and invited to support their performances prior to the test time. So picture like pets as dogs and cats, different devices, weed farm and fruit trees, diverse structures of great buildings in the world, or a cabin panel of an airplane were drawn to support the researchers' understanding while they are playing and doing presentation. And this is the process of the data collection. Each square means one action for collecting the data. First of all, in the first semester, the PowerPoint presentation skills in traditional ways were introduced. And then the, the conventional presentation demonstration by the teacher with the biography of Nobel Prize winners. Thirdly, great man presentations, grading, and analysis for the students' presentation skills. That is their final scores. And then in the second semester, the campus training were introduced to the control group, to the student that would like to improve their oral presentation skills. So the presentation of the language and knowledge progress from the game. I introduced by the conventional way, but also by the updated way of the game-based learning. And then similarly, we do the grading from the interview, from the survey of the student's reflection. And we call the data into things. And this data was stored in my office for five years based on the IRB that I have signed. That is, their name will never reveal to the public. And this is the precious data from SPSS, which is a type of mathematical graph that compare different types of methods of teaching and learning. So as you can see, before training, this group of students, the 15 members, has a great deal of improvement in their overall proficiency. From 83.1334 to 92.35. That is a great deal of improvement. Almost hit 10 points. So these two bar plots is the average of the 10 points. That is a gap of difference. So this is the average of the pre-training and this is the average of post-training. 
very very few students are not infected are not impacted by this game based learning strategies and this is another group that has the participant of 39 members which is in physics department this two box plot also show the big gap of the difference before and after training in the very beginning they got 75.2424 points and after training by game base they got 33.8205 points so which is also a big gap also hit almost 10 points so this is the improvement of the five types of oral proficiencies and this is the last class of this training containing 59 members in the department of informational administration although their proficiency level is the lowest in the beginning however they improve the most in the very beginning their score is about 83.17 afterwards they improve more than 10 points which is 73.48 as you can see in the very beginning their score is quite low in oral presentation however after training they improve a lot and this is also the reason why they are interested in computer science naturally they are more interested in these types of pedagogy and are more motivated so besides doing the oral presentation test with the PPT for twice we also give them some survey questions most of them support and agree with the updated research method for example the question the first question i learned how to listen to english more clearly the second question i learned how to interact with the characteristic in the games by speaking in english especially with the foreigners or the people from Canada or America. The third one, I am motivated to read the content. My reading ability has improved. The fourth one, I learn how to write through interaction with people online playing the same games. The fifth one, I learn many new English words so these words are fashionable and updated on the computer websites so this is about um, the different levels their improvement and the comparison among three groups of teacher preparation students so in this one this is n equal to 15 they are the advanced class and they have the second more 
improvement among all. And this one is the n equals to 39. They are department of physics. They improve also almost 10 points. And the lowest level, n equals to 59. They improve the most because they're interested originally in computer science. They are Department of Information Administration. And they have the largest difference before and after training. So this is a graph for showing the computer game might be formally included into curriculum meeting, into the formal curricula. So a bridge between parents, students, and school advisors should be built to communicate with the effect of games on language improve. the formal pedagogy in the classroom. 